Hello, for this problem we've got a, a dumbbell consisting of two 40 kilogram spheres, each with a, radi or a diameter of 0.2 meters, uh, and there's a 0.6 meter long 20 kilogram slender shaft connecting these two. Um, so what we're asked to do is to find the mass moment of inertia about the y-axis um, through the center of this shape. Um, so the centroid, since it's symmetric, it's not really that hard to figure out. The centroid is going to be right here in the center. So everything is going to be measured from there. All right, so we have three different shapes. We've got a sphere over here, a sphere over here, and a center uh, slender rod. I'm going to call this one one, this one two, and I'm going to notice that the second one is just the same. It's got the same distance, same shape, same mass as uh, this shape one over here. Um, so I'm only going to deal with one and two, and then I'm going to multiply this one by two, uh, whatever results I get there to find the overall uh, shape or overall moment of inertia. So shape, I've got one, two, and I'm going to do the total. All right. And this one, I'm going to say times two because I've got a 40 kilogram sphere on each side. All right. So each Piece. I've got the mass, so this is 40 kilograms, each one of them. Um, this is 20 kilograms, um, and so the overall mass is a 100 kilogram dumbbell. It's pretty heavy. All right, next I'm going to look at Ixx through the centroid of each of those shapes. All right, so, or sorry, this should be I, Y, Y, C. Uh, since we're doing this about the y-axis. All right, so I, Y, Y, C1. Um, <clears throat> if I look this up, this is for a sphere, um, I, Y, Y should be 2 fifths M R squared. So 2 fifths times 40 kilograms times the radius of each one of these is going to be 0.1 meters. And so that's going to give me 0.16 kilogram meters squared. All right, and so I, Y, Y, C2, if I look this one up in my tables, um, I get the equation 1 12th M L squared. All right, so this center rod is 20 kilograms, so 1 12th times 20 kilograms times the length of the rod is 0.6 meters, and that gets squared. All right, so that value, this is going to be 0.6 kilogram meters squared. All right, next I'm going to look at the R values. So each one of this is the mass moment of inertia of, uh, about, of the sphere about its center, mass moment of inertia of the slender rod about its center. Um, and for each one of these spheres, the center of the sphere over here, I'm going to do y prime. Uh, the distance between this y-axis and this y-bar, or, or y-prime over here, is going to be 0.3 meters plus another 0.1. This is 0.4 meters is my separation. Um, and then for the center of my rod, that happens to be the exact same center of the overall piece. So this one is zero. There is no adjustment for this second part. All right, so now we are doing I, Y, Y adjusted. And if we add together all those adjusted values, we find the overall shape. All right, so I, Y, Y, 1 adjusted. This is the spheres on the end, um, it's going to be 0.16 kilogram meter squared, that's my original value, plus m r squared. All right, so m is 40 kilograms, uh, and r is 0.4 meters. So if I plug in those values, my adjusted 
I Y Y one adjusted is going to be six point five six kilogram meter squared, and so you'll you will notice that um, just moving these spheres out to the end greatly increases the mass moment of inertia. So six point five six kilogram meter squared. Um, this one, there is no adjustment. There's My R value is zero, so it's still 0 0.6 kilogram meter squared. And if I add 6.56 times 2, since I've got two of these, plus 0 0.6, I get the overall um, mass moment of inertia, which is going to be 13.72 kilogram meter squared. So that is the mass moment of inertia of this dumbbell about, its, about the y-axis at its center. So with that, that's all we have for this problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.